Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 26 going over the new Commander Arsenal set. We have a full preview today where we can look at all of the cards. They've all been spoiled at this point, but before I jump into the cards, which is what makes me happy as they've spoiled some cool stuff, I need to take a second and talk about the distribution and the price. Now, I was a little bit unhappy initially with the price point of $75. Seemed a little high for your average Commander player who's more likely to spend 10 20 30 maybe even $40 on something. 75 seemed a little high, but it gets crazy. Why? Because Wizards has decided to distribute two to four copies per store. Yes, two to four copies per store. That makes this extremely limited, much more limited than the From the Vault Realms set. And From the Vault Realms retailed for about $120 within minutes after it was released, even though the MSRP was $35. What's that going to put the price tag for this set at? I have no idea, but my guess is two or $300 on the release day, which is well outside of the price of anybody except a vintage or legacy collector. But let's jump into the fun stuff. Let's look at what they actually decided to put out. They've got a nice new box here, some nice packaging. We've got the special life counter that goes up to 99. Your plus and minus tokens, large cards and small cards. Uh, this division of large cards and small cards might be part of what's bringing the price up. Maybe it costs more to produce those large cards, although honestly I could care less about the large cards. I don't know anybody who uses the large cards. The small foil cards, those are cool and they've actually made some really good choices for the small cards. Let's take a minute, look at the large cards and then move on to the fun stuff. They've decided to choose some of the best commanders out there. Uh, Godo was a really nice choice in red as he made the top 10 red list for me as an honorable mention. And Sliver Queen is a great five color commander, although it's a little bit odd of a choice as it's on the reserve list. So individuals will have the large size versions, but getting a hold of a small size version that they can shuffle back into their deck after it's been hindered will be a little bit difficult. Although I actually recommend taking a razor blade and cutting these in half because a half size card actually fits into a sleeve really well. And it looks really pretty. It's almost like they made a full art version. And given that these have very little collector's value, I don't feel bad chopping them up either. So if I'm able to find a copy of this, maybe I'll do a video where I chop all of these up and show you how they work inside of a sleeve. The complete list is actually pretty good. They've got a nice selection of some casual, competitive, and combo commanders out there. But let's move on to the fun stuff, the cards that we actually get to shuffle and play. Command Tower has got to be one of the most exciting ones. Spoiled, the new artwork is beautiful. Beautiful, and this goes in almost every deck, or at least every multicolored deck out there. Beautiful card, great artwork, I can't wait to see it in foil. I've got Mimeoplasm and Kalia here together, because they're both from the Commander sets, and they happen to be two of the most popular of the new Commanders. Can't wait to see them in foil, especially Kalia. Although Mimeoplasm is extremely popular and a lot of fun to play, I'm very happy with both of these cards. The next two I've got here are fall on opposite sides of the spot. Spectrum, Dio Chan, Artful Beauty, who I'm sure I'm massacring her name, is very questionable as a commander, and I've actually never seen her played. Maybe it's because of how rare the set that she's from is, Portal Three Kingdoms, a very little known exclusive set designed to teach people how to play the game. Yeah, the distribution on this set is extremely small, and some of the cards go for up to several hundred dollars a piece. I don't think they chose the best choice here in someone to reprint, as I don't think the ability on her is that good either, although it does fit the EDH feel. Rick, Rick by contrast, though, is a great choice for this set. He's an extremely powerful commander. He's a lot of fun to play, even though he's been banned in the 1v1 French version of EDH. He's very political, encourages people to attack each other, and even a slightly playable card in Legacy or Vintage. I really like seeing him here. Elia, the Nightclad, is not that impressive of a commander, but has beautiful artwork associated with her, and I can't wait to see her in foil. 
Stick Study is a nice multi-purpose draw card that's a way to pick up some extra card advantage. Very low price. Applicant is another great card here. I like that they've added artifacts into this because they can pretty much go in anybody's deck. Duplicant is not the type of card I really like to play as a six casting cost exile is a little bit expensive, but I've got a lot of friends who really like this card and are very happy to see it. Swarp's another one that I'm glad to see it in foil. It's a very nice utility spell that Red really needed, and it fits the theme of this pack very well. Hellstorm Wanderer is just amazing. This is one of the absolute best commanders out there. Double Cascade is nearly unstoppable outside of a time stop. I've seen some wicked decks with this card and even an amazing commander deck with him as the commander. Very happy to see him. Can't wait to see it in foil. Foil Retainers. Shocked that this card is being reprinted. This is a card from Portal 3 Kingdoms that combos extremely well with Survival of the Fittest to make one of the best Legacy decks of all time. Survival of the Fittest has since been banned in Legacy and no one actually plays this card. Never actually seen this card in an EDH deck, so it did make me a little bit surprised to see this in here because it has a price tag of $150 currently. This card alone triples the value of the set and means that speculators and vintage players are very likely to buy this set just for this one card in foil, keeping it out of the hands of most EDH players. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm super happy that they're reprinting this card, and I wish they would reprint a few more of the Portal 3 Kingdom cards to make them more accessible in Legacy and in Vintage. I just putting them inside a product aimed at the casual market means that that product is no longer accessible to the casual market. And Layer Spider, what are they thinking? Why did they possibly put this in? The only thing that I could come up with when racking my brain over this card is the idea that Primeval Titan was originally in this spot, then at the last minute Primeval Titan was banned and they needed to find something to put in this spot. I would have much rather have had Baleful Strix in this spot, comes from Plane Chase, is actually playable, beautiful artwork, would love to see it in foil. Maybe the Dragon Layer Spider will look good in foil, but it doesn't make up for the fact that it's utterly unplayable. Decree of Pain, super happy to see this card, one of the absolute best black EDH cards. It has a great effect, huge card advantage, feels very black, it even has a cycle ability to it to play early on. Perfect card for the set, way to go Wizards. Desertion, great blue card for this set, really has the feel of blue, counter spell, steal your stuff, make everybody else mad at you and end up on top, great card. Mind's Eye. Great card to see in this set. Everybody needs to draw cards. Extremely popular card in the EDH environment. Everybody likes to add this to their deck. Great job, Wizards, with this one. Fari's Wake, another great card. It's got multicolor in it, fits in several different decks, ramps you, buffs your creatures up. Very popular fan favorite. Another good choice here for Wizards. Scroll Rack. This card is amazing. I had to go check the reserve list just to make sure they hadn't accidentally reprinted one of the absolute best cards from Tempest. This is a staple card in a lot of EDH decks. It sees almost no play in other formats. People have tried to sneak it into some legacy decks recently to no success. But this is a beautifully good card, perfect card to put into this set. Look forward to seeing it in foil. These are the cards that I'm really excited about in this set. Sylvan Library, which lots of people have talked about is a great green staple along with scroll rack ristic study mind's eye maelstrom wanderer and command tower would all go directly into my edh decks i hope i'm able to find a copy of this set preferably at retail or somewhere near with far in looking at the set there's at least six wonderfully playable cards that i would add tomorrow directly into my edh decks Overall, the card selection and the choices, along with the new artwork, is incredible. Wizards has done a good job coming up with the cards for this set if they can just figure out how to distribute things at a price where EDH players would buy it and collectors wouldn't be the only ones able to afford it. This set would have easily gotten a 10 out of 10. This is Brian Rowe with a Commander Arsenal full preview. I look forward to finding this in stores soon.